I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood to make this spline jig. And to start off, I'm ripping the plywood down to 12 inches because all the parts will be 12 inches in length. Next I cut out 4 pieces at 8 by 12. These will be the main body of the spline jig. And then I cut out three pieces at one and a half by 12 inches. I need these because of the style of my fence. And also because of the style of my fence, I need an angle cut on one of those small pieces. Now I'm gonna take an eight by 12 piece and you can see here the angle piece just fits in the adjustable fence part right there. And I'm using the other small pieces to wrap it around. I'm using CA glue to just temporarily attach all the pieces together. Uh, more specifically, I'm using 2P10, and I'll have a link in the description for the kind I use. Once the whole thing is together, I take it off, and then I strengthen everything with screws. After that, I just like to make sure it still slides easily along the fence. And once I'm good with that, I can mark out the angles I need for the cradle supports. I'm using a regular triangle square here and just marking lines out from the center of the piece. So going back over to the table saw, I snap this in place and you can see the lines meet at the middle at the bottom. And once again, I'm using CA glue to temporarily glue the cradle supports in place. And as you can see, if I got a frame that I'm adding spines to, it should cradle itself at a 90 degree angle right there reaching the table. Now I just have to add the other side to close off the main component here. And once I get all that glued in place, then I can once again add screws to strengthen everything up. With all the screws in place, this is finally finished and ready to test out. So the way it works here, you see, I just pop it on the fence. I move the fence wherever I want. I do have to measure a three quarter inch offset, but then I can just pop the piece in and run it through and it creates the spine slot. <laughs> 